What's up, I'm Jeff Haynes from Tech Bargains, and this is the video review of the HP Pavilion Sleekbook 15Z. When consumers are in the market for a brand new machine, they want something that can handle their day-to-day -day tasks while still letting them unwind at the end of a long day. With the introduction of the Ultrabook, you could get these features in one slim and light package. But what if you're not a fan of Intel? Well, AMD and HP think that they have the solution for you with the Pavilion Sleekbook 15Z, a machine that can work just as well as an Ultrabook. But is this the perfect machine for you? Here's our review. The Pavilion Sleek Book that we reviewed was powered by an AMD quad-core A8 4555M processor running at 1.7 GHz that could be boosted up to 2.5 GHz via turbo. It came with 4 GB of RAM and was supplemented by Radeon HD 7500G discrete class graphics. Content was displayed on a 15.6-inch HD Brightview LED backlit display with a native resolution of 1366 by 768. Rounding out some of the specs of the machine are a 500GB hard drive spinning at 5400 RPM, Altic Lansing speakers with Dolby Advanced Audio, two USB 3.0 ports, one USB 2.0 port, HDMI out port, and a multi-format card reader. Now a lot of the news has been made about the design of Ultrabooks on the market, particularly how light, thin, and portable the machines usually are. For its class, the Sleekbook 15Z is just as impressive, with a frame and design that is just as slick and eye-catching as its Intel brethren. The machine appears to be carved from a solid piece of black plastic, with a glossy exterior to the shell and the bottom plank, and minor chrome accents on the HP logo, power button, and under the speaker bar. The overall effect is an incredibly attractive machine that can easily fit in any setting, while still measuring less than an inch thick and weighing in at 4.6 pounds. Now weight-wise, that might not sound overly impressive given the 2 and 3 pound systems out there, but given a full alphanumeric chiclet keyboard and a 15.6 inch display, it's a solid offering from HP. Plus, the weight is evenly distributed, especially without an optical drive, which makes it feel a lot lighter than it is. Once you move past the design of the system, the Sleekbook demonstrated decent startup times from a cold boot of the machine. During our testing, we noted it seemed to take around 17 and a half seconds from the time you hit the power button to the time you could interact with the desktop, which is decent speed for a system. It's not the fastest one we've seen out there, but it's not the slowest either. We also found that the performance of the computer was very strong thanks to the quad-core processor. We banged on the computer, trying to make it grind to a halt by running loads of programs or processing lots of images, and the sleek book tore through them without a problem. Multiple windows streaming various videos and running apps wasn't a problem at all, so the computer can definitely pack a multimedia punch without any problems, fulfilling your entertainment needs. Another thing that stood out was the fact that the computer stayed extremely quiet and cool throughout use. Regardless of the amount of strain we put it under or the length of time we kept it running, we didn't notice the fan kick on or the system feel as though it was overheating. We attributed this to the HP CoolSense technology that was on by default, but it managed to keep the heat down on the system. This is very important given the need to keep temperatures low on smaller and smaller computers. We were also struck by the screen of the Pavilion Sleekbook, and not solely because of the size of the display. It's glossy, so you might have reflectivity issues here or there, but it can let you look at the screen from the sides without a significant amount of color shifting or fading. You might notice this if you look at the screen from above or below the display, but for the most part, it's pretty good, so you can gather a couple of people around without having to be directly head-on. We did pick up on some visual noise with the screen, but some of this is to be expected given the display's resolution that it's locked at, 1366 by 768 as well as the video quality of web-based clips. For a system that doesn't have an optical drive, it performs rather well. Another selling point for the sleek book is the Radeon video card portion of the system's APU. While Intel might have its HD Graphics 4000 on board the Ivy Bridge processor, its visual power is somewhat limited. The 7500G, by contrast, actually has some power for things like gaming or video processing. It won't necessarily deliver the same performance as if you have a dedicated discrete video card, but it will allow you to play some more complex games with limited slowdown and decent visual options turned on. We could play some shooters like Borderlands 2 with more than just its basic default set and still have solid frame rates, which is more than what we can say for some Ultrabooks. The sound on the Sleekbook was pretty strong. We attributed this to the Altic Lansing speakers and the Dolby Advanced Audio presentation, which pumped out a lot of volume from music, movies, and games. It can definitely help fill the room, though it won't drown out a lot of ambient noise when the speakers are cranked to the max. One downside is that the speakers are thin on the low end. Bass doesn't really exist regardless of the content you're interacting with. 
Finally, the last bonus is that the sleek book is very affordable. The baseline price of the machine is $479.99. If you upgrade the processor from the dual core A4 to the quad core A8 that we reviewed, you pay $554.99. Other Ultrabooks, convertibles, and other laptops on shelves are priced slightly higher to a few hundred bucks more, so the Sleekbook's price should attract attention from people looking for new computers. So were there problems with the Pavilion Sleekbook? There were some, and while minor, the combination of all of them did stand out. For one thing, we weren't thrilled about the trackpad for the system. Trackpad sensitivity was incredibly high, especially when it came to Windows 8 gestures, and we noticed that it was way too easy to swap apps or pull up the charms menu inadvertently thanks to the pad, which was very frustrating. Also, the trackpad buttons for the computer were very stiff, with an extremely pronounced click for each action, so you'd have to exert a bit of force to get it to recognize your commands. If the screen was equipped with a touchscreen, this wouldn't be a problem, but since it doesn't come with one, you might need to rely upon a mouse to get around this. Speaking of the touchscreen, the size of the screen does beg for touch-enabled functionality. Having the ability to interact with a 15.6-inch display through touch would be a natural way to manipulate content on screen, especially given the nature of Windows 8, but this isn't a touchscreen-enabled device. It's a minor issue because you don't have to have one of these interfaces on every computer, but with more laptops including them, it does tend to stand out. The Sleekbook also came with its fair share of bloatware, which we've come to expect from HP and other OEM manufacturers. To an extent, although we didn't appreciate the amount of programs that were included or the pop-ups we'd frequently get from Norton's antivirus, we're aware of the reason behind their inclusion. However, we did think that there were some redundant and frankly useless additions to this software. For example, it's a nonsensical decision to include the Cyberlink Media Suite on the system when a significant portion of the suite talks about ripping audio CDs, creating slideshow discs, or burning movies on a system without an optical drive. I understand that the Media Suite comes with this as part of the preloaded software, but HP should think about how useful it is on a machine without the attendant equipment, unless it also expects users to buy an external drive. Finally, we found the battery life to be a bit lacking for the machine. With light system usage, like web browsing and email, we could easily pull down around four hours on a single charge. Processor intensive actions, like watching video, could cut it in half, and playing games would frequently last only around 90 minutes before we'd have to reach for the power cable. Not exactly the greatest, when you know you have to rely on an outlet a lot more than you'd hope. The Pavilion Sleekbook 15Z is a solid alternative to Intel's Ultrabooks, with strong performance, a surprisingly good screen, and a system that can run for long periods of time without getting loud or hot. Couple this with an APU that can actually run graphically intensive programs better than some Ultrabooks, as well as a slick design that fits in virtually anywhere, and you have an attractive system at an affordable price. The trackpad might be a bit infuriating, the bloatware a bit random, and the battery life not as strong as you'd like, but overall, it's still an excellent computer. For these reasons, we decided to give the HP Pavilion Sleekbook 15Z a 4 out of 5. For the latest coupons and deals on systems like the HP Pavilion Sleekbook 15Z, be sure to check out techbargains.com HP. To enter our monthly giveaway, make sure you always check out techbargains.com YouTube. And to watch our video unboxings, video reviews, and exclusive video features, be sure to go to techbargains.com videos.